Happy birthday, dear mommy. Hello? Happy birthday uh -huh. to Hello? you. Guys, Hello? how is it very much so a sparkly water snob? Like, he won't drink any of my sparkly water. He'll only drink Waterloo. So I'm going to test him today. And we're going to have a cup of each and see if he can tell the difference between which is which. These are both peach sparkling water. Take a sip of each cup and see which one is Waterloo versus mine. You don't have to give me an answer first, just drink both of them. Because that's number one. And that's number two. This is Waterloo. That's Waterloo? Yes. 100%? Yeah, 100%. Okay. So you're saying that's Waterloo? Yes, this is Waterloo. Oh my goodness. No, that missed. No, you're such a snob. You don't even. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> all right, they came today and they've been working on the cabinets. So they took off all the doors. And this is the color that we ended up going with, I guess. It's hard to tell in this light. Don't know if we can really tell a difference when they start painting it. I don't think they've started yet. No, this is the old stuff. This is new color, but I don't think they've started on that just yet. I don't think so. I think they just took everything down, um, taped it off, and we'll come back tomorrow for the rest of it. Alrighty, it is now seven o'clock on this Thursday. They were here all day. They painted the entire ceiling, I believe is what they ended up doing in here um, they took down all the plastic bags so no more plastic bags in here which is great here um, the floor they finished painting all the cabinets this is a little bit different than what we're used to if you guys remember the island was painted that brown color as the middle bit hood so now in addition to the pot and pan drawer here so we've changed it and we had them painted all the cabinets basically all the same color. Yeah. Um, these are open so they can put a layer of polyurethane on uh, the wood cabinets there. We still are without a sink. Yes, they are waiting on a faucet. We're thinking about putting some under cabinet lighting in here. Just because I mean, the lights in here are bright. But if you're trying to prep something, it kind of gets dark down here. But this is how it looks. And now we have all this open space here again. It's the first time Aspen's ever been able to kind of walk through all of that. But the fridge is still out in the hallway here. But yeah, this is what we're working with now. So I think the only thing left to do is plumbing and then the floors. We're contemplating if we want a lighter color or do with the same color we had. I think we're going to compromise and go a color in between these two. Just since we brightened up the kitchen so much, we just wanted a color that kind of goes along with that too. She's finished eating her food. We're going to eat some cherries. Let me show y'all what I got. This is a cherry pitter. It's going to take the seed out of the cherries. So these are already washed and then you just put them in. You want to make sure that they're in there right in the middle because those prongs are going to pierce through them and if it hits a seed 
it won't go through. And then you just push it through. All the seeds should have gone down here. You want to count the seeds to make sure before you give it to baby that it got all the seeds out. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. And then you bring this back up, and then all your cherries should now be pitted and safe for baby to eat. I'll still break them in half before I give them to That's too big for one, one little thing. Good morning, happy Sunday. We are having Panera for breakfast. We don't have one out our way, so I had to drive 40 minutes um, to get it to get it in back. Um, so Aspen's having some steel cut oats with strawberries, uh, brown sugar, and cinnamon. I'm trying not to give her the little pecans because those are way too hard for her. Al has a avocado breakfast sandwich. I have my souffle, this is what I was craving. And I have a wrap over there, breakfast um, tomato wrap over there. Aspen has her water bottles, which she loves. Good girl, this is Aspen's first taste of Panera. Hal used to get Panera a lot when he was working um, at his previous job just because it was close, easy, fast. And then for some time now, probably two years, we stopped eating Panera. This wrap I got is so good. Um, I don't know what it, I can't remember what it's called. Maybe if I find it, I'll put it on the, on the screen here. But it's tomato, it has arugula eggs and some bacon and i think it has like a aioli sauce in it so good so much better than the starbucks spinach feta wrap that i usually get to my next project so i'm trying to make this cabinet into a pullout so i bought these pullout these custom pullout things but i have to reposition this shelf a little bit higher for what i want to use it for and it has these locking hinges on here which make them so hard to come out so i got one side of it kind of unlocked but that back one is so hard to get up and this cabinet is pretty deep so i can't get a good grip in there to take the shelf out Okay, after that last clip, I just banged on it really hard and I got it off or out. So when I did that, this back piece flew off somewhere. I don't see it. Red is like, oh, here it is. So I have to put this back on. Um, but I'll show you what I'm trying to do with this drawer. This is the drawer right next to the microwave. And this is where we used to put all of our um, baking stuff, um, like parchment paper, aluminum foil and stuff like that. But I wanna repurpose this to use it for something other than that. So I'm gonna do a pull-out drawer here that has everything on that tray over there. So plastic wrap, aluminum foil, all our plastic baggies. All in one spot. And I'll free up some other cabinets for me and drawers for me too.
11 minutes later. Whew, okay, so I got it repositioned in there. So I put these two notches up where it was before, which means, leaves me some pretty good room down here for big pots and pans. Now the question is gonna be if this fits in there and can slide out easily. So. Great. So just barely, but it'll fit. Monday we are I am trying to organize this room a little bit better I brought all of the baby stuff back into the other closet let me show you guys bags to keep the dust but I'll try to label these as best as I could I have stuff up there down here these are all our winter coats and more of our stuff. So this whole closet is basically dedicated to Aspen. And of course we have our kitchen stuff in here. So what I did here was I just um, pushed the carpets against the window sill since I brought all that stuff to the other room. And I wanna organize all of her lover kits um, into their original boxes. I think for the most part, we kept most of the boxes. And I think I was able to find most of all the toys. So I may be ambitious and try to put everything back in their respective boxes, but I'm not really sure because I think I threw some of these away, the little covers that had exactly what's in each box. But I also kept all these little booklets to kind of know what goes in each one as well. And then there's some miscellaneous stuff that's not part of the library boxes that are I'm trying to put into the boxes that are age appropriate. So this is our task today off this Monday. So I'm working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. And Aspen is just being a little bit clingy. And it's okay. No, let mommy finish, okay? <laughs> she sees all her toys and she wants to play with them. What are you doing? You can't play with them. You can't play with them. I'm trying to put them away. I'm trying to put them away. So if you have a baby brother or sister, they can play with it too. We just had some spring rolls for dinner. Mm. I didn't vlog the before, but mm. how and I devoured mm. ours. Aspen's working on her first little spring roll. Mm. <laughs> that well, right? Yes. Mm. I did not make her her own, so she has the rice paper, lettuce, herbs, like mint, um, and oh, yeah. <laughs> so some noodles, shrimp, and pork. Yeah. Good job. Good job. She's at the stage where she just wants to eat what we eat, which is pretty cute. Howie, help her. Help her. What? She got noodle on her hand. Help. Uh -huh. Cheese. Sweet girl. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. You want this one? Okay, okay, I'll get for you. Radish. Good job, radish. Cabbage. It's Friday. I got some new scrubs. Fig sent me a 15% off um, for my birthday. So I got a new color. I don't have this color just yet. It's almost like a slate color. And it's a new style that they have. It's still their technical, technical collection, but it has this little double edge here. I paid an extra 10 bucks just to get this embroidered. I think it's so cute. It's a little coffee. Um, a cup and then my initials. I had a couple things that you could choose from, but this seemed most applicable for me. And then of course, just the pants to go along with it. I like the bright drawstring here. So just one more set. Since I work three days a week, I don't need to have too, too many scrubs, but I think I have, this makes my fifth or sixth set. Super comfy. A lot of people wear them. 
they advertise a lot and I actually do like them. They're really flattering. They don't shrink. They're made of really good material, super soft and buttery. So if I wear this in the next coming, I will wear it next week. Um, I'll show you how it looks on. Happy Saturday. We um, had just had our brunch. I made some pork rolls. I put them in the fridge already. But I'm um, also making a pot of pho, which is Vietnamese beef noodle soup. This is going to stew for a few hours, so we'll probably have that for dinner. Aspen's right here. We got some blocks um, that came in this morning. Okay, come on. I wanted to show you guys this. I got this in the mail a couple days ago from Amazon. And they're just these drawer dividers. And they're adjustable. So let me show you. Cut and pack a four so that it goes smaller or larger depending on what size drawers you want. And I wanted it for this drawer or kind of these drawers here near the stove. So I could put the utensils in here a little bit better and that they're a little bit more organized and not all over the place. But it fits perfectly and it looks really good. The wood matches with the wood in the cabinet. And there's a little bit of clearance up here so it doesn't go all the way up to the top of the cabinet, but that should be fine. And I haven't put the stuff in for this cabinet down here just yet. Just I don't know how to attach the drill. And this is our used to be our junk drawer. So I may put one in here as well just to divide it because I don't want the whole drawer to be a junk drawer. So maybe I'll put one in here and then for our miscellaneous kitchen utensils will be on one side and then the junk stuff on this side here. We're trying to have a more functional kitchen um, and just organize little by little. Still don't have a sink and of course the floors still aren't done. So they're not gonna meet their deadline that they told Hal the first time, which we kind of expected. But all the cabinets are all painted. Uh, like I showed you guys last time, so we just went for one solid color. It doesn't have that oil detail on the trim anymore. So this is what we decided with, and I think it looks pretty, pretty good. We're just ready for this plumbing stuff to be put in too. It's still very difficult to cook without a sink in here, uh, but we're excited for this. But it's probably one of Aspen's favorite thing to eat. All right, so I couldn't figure out how to do the drill. So I got Hal helping me. He pre-drilled a couple of holes in there to make it easier because um, it was so hard for me to do it. And it's all, all right, we got it installed. That was a big help because I couldn't do it. But this is this drawer and it closes completely flushed. And the bottom, I still have this one. Debating whether or not to put the other one in here. I think I'll have to because these are custom and they I had to measure it specifically for this particular cabinet. So Hal said, once I mark the holes in here, he'll put that one in for me. But this is great. So it pulls all the way out and I get all this. So I don't have to go going in there to try to get anything out if I don't need to. This was the drawer I was gonna use to put all of our food storage bag. So have a gallon, quart, sandwich bag, little snack bags, and then all the miscellaneous things here. So I have the aluminum wrap, another aluminum wrap, and of course this huge plastic thing. So hopefully it fits if I measured it correctly, and I did. So great, very happy with that. So it's in there, easy to get to, you know, if we need it to use the plastic wrap to come in here, pull it out, get whatever we need to and be done with it. Oh, yeah. Out of the birthday dinner. The cheese? Ask the cheese? No, no. We're back at Southern Soul Let's get your double egg. Fried oyster and the bacon marmalade. Aspen has her big bar. And she also has. Our food just came out. I got the shrimp pasta. I've got a ribeye steak. Uh, what's it? Hi. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lan. Happy birthday, wifey. Blow, blow. Toy, go. Don't touch it's hot. Toy. Mm. Mm. No way. Forgot to give us a creme brulee with a candle on it at the restaurant. It's okay. I think that girl was a little bit more new. Um, and Aspen was really tired, so I wasn't going to wait around for it. So, how we got, um, we went to Whole Foods, which was right down the street from the restaurant. And we got a carrot cake. So I have picked out a carrot cake. Mm. <laughs> Aspen wants more? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get some without so much cream cheese. Okay, say good night. Bye. Bye bye. Also, oh, how I didn't notice. I'm wearing the exact same dress I wore two years ago for my birthday. The night I told them that we had a bun in the oven. Good night. Hello, happy Monday. We have a quick haul for you. Well, maybe not quick. We got some stuff in the mail. We got a gift from my attending. That um, his wife went to Greece and got us a few things. I got this cute little bag um, and she got Aspen a couple of things that are also very, very adorable. Cute outfit. Let me show you guys. So here it is. How stinking cute. Do you like it, Bubba? It's a set. Look, it says made in Greece. It is too cute. Perfect in time for the beach. And these, she got Excuse me, Aspen, some cute little slippers. So these are traditional Greek woolen slippers with non-slip leather sole. And these are so, so, so adorable. Look at there. These kind of give me um, frozen vibes. So we'll see if they fit. They're, five, they're size five and a half. Let's see here. She's got some pretty fat feet. <laughs> I think they fit. Got her some room, extra room in the front. Okay. Let's see if it, her foot won't get in there. There you go. Okay, let me show you guys. Can mommy see your cute slippers? Can mommy, hey, can let me see. Okay. Oh my goodness, how cute. Wow, Aspie. Wow. You like them? How adorable. Perfect fit. There's a little bit of extra room here, which is perfect. <laughs> okay, 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 look. Mommy also got you some more stuff. Okay. What is it? Okay, get some money. Goodness, she's been so grouchy lately. Got a new book from Imagination Library, which is the Dolly Parton. Dolly. Okay, look. Okay, all okay. Let me open. Let me open. Okay, okay. 
We got a cute pair of Crocs. Another one. This is a size six. So we're up to the size sixes now. Goodness, she's so cranky. And then, so I got those, the glittery ones, and then I also got her some cute little shoes. You know, the other one that we have, she's basically grown out of it. And these are the next size up, a size six. Here you go, yeah. Feeling better? Cranky pants. She got these, and then, you know, we have the pink and blue ones of these, and they didn't have the pink and blue ones in the size six anymore. So I think I bought those when it was pretty early on. Now they're all sewed out. It's those two. And then these cute, cute, cute little slippers all the way from Greece. These are outfit that she doesn't want to show us, but it comes with that. And then matching very, this is very Grecian. So cute. That's all for our haul today. This month's book is Little Poems for Tiny Ears. I have to prep their lunch for tomorrow and then I'm swamped, uh, well not swamped, tired. So we'll get ready for bed soon.